Hello YouTubers, my name is Nolo01. Uh, I'm going to be reading a Slenderman story and telling you my encounters with him. So here's the story first. It was dark, scary and ridiculously quiet. A light breeze made my hair stand up. I looked at my surroundings. A forest as far as the eyes can see. The chirping of the crickets was the only sound ruining the peace of night. The stars were shining at their most brightest. They were like lights, trying to show me the way back home. Suddenly, a paper caught my eye. It was a page from a notebook hanging on a big tree. I carefully examined it. It was a drawing of you can say, almost a human being, alien-like, surrounded by trees, limbs so long, his arms almost touching the ground. He was wearing a suit with a necktie, but the thing that caught my attention the most was his face. That was the problem. He had no face. A chill went up my spine. The breeze stopped, and so did the crickets. The only thing I could hear was my heart beating so fast on the verge of exploding. Something was wrong. Something was behind me. I slowly turned around. My heart stopped when I saw him. The man from the drawing. He was faceless, but I knew that if he had eyes, they would be staring into my soul right now. There was no way for me to es escape. I could feel the tree against my back. He was getting closer. And from his back, tentacles were coming out. That was the moment I knew my life was coming to an end. To an end. I closed my eyes, accepting the way my story ends. I felt warm liquid dripping from my chest. I looked down and saw his tentacle piercing my heart. With my last breath, I said to myself, Beware, beware of the slender man. I woke up in a panic the next morning. I couldn't tell if it was a dream or if it was reality. The only proof I have of Slender Man's existence is a faint piercing mark on the left side of my chest. So that was the story. Now I'll tell you my story um, that actually happened to me. My brother and my er, my brother and his friend were searching for Slenderman, seeing if they could find him or anything. That day, we couldn't find him, so we went back inside. I drew a picture of him because I was bored. That night, I had a dream of him chasing me around my house. And I woke up the next morning, and I saw a black cloth move out of the viewpoint of my window. I still see black cloth moving from my window today. So that was it. This has been Nolo, or this is Nolo01, signing off.